welcome back to another Watch Dogs video, guys. So today we are going to find out what Albion was doing at the Tone attack site and what they are planning on. They will meet you guys. They're quite absent for quite a long time. If you did not realize, it's because I had nowhere to make videos. But fast forward, we are already here, and I'm at the Tone conference site. It's mad. Everything that happened here, everyone that died. The bombing was months ago, and yet they've done nothing to restore this site. Strange, considering the building is meant to be under repair. Not at all suspicious. Right. So what are we after, Bagley? Coming from within the rubble. So, okay, we're here. So the building was under repair this year, but things don't seem to be adding up. Ooh, there's a drone. I wonder if I can hack it. And yes I can, that's amazing, lovely, drop it on to this person, that's one kill already. Let us sneak behind this guy, that's another kill, absolutely brutal. And let us kill this dude again, not the same person but another person, that's three kills. I'm going to be keeping a count of how many kills. This is probably going to be our fourth target that we are going to kill, yes it is. Absolutely demolished, he could do nothing, the poor man. He just lost his soul with a guy with a wrench. So that's very sad for him. Fifth target. Absolutely demolished. As usual. No one knows. Shout his death into mystery. Sixth target. Also another death from the Albion people, man. This truly isn't a really good day for him. And we are here. We got the damaged spider bot leg. And let's see what this is. No indication yet who it belongs to. Bloody thing's been knocked about. Why is it here? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. That should do it. Now, I'll just take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and... Got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you from the night of the explosion. Right. So I simply had to hack only three terminals for this so Bagley told us to go back there and we should start an AR reconstruct which will see, let us see what will happen. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, I think we'd go back for you. Don't trust the Kelly dog. Kelly, as in Clan Kelly. It was gangsters that blew the fuck out of London. Looks to me like someone was meeting with their dealer, which in this case would be the Kellys. But who the fuck is this? They're not with Clan Kelly. Are they with Zero Day or something? Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bagley, can you tell who was driving a spider bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. The cops were watching. Oh, now that is an interesting little wrinkle. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. Bagley, open a quantum tunnel, will ya? Quantum tunnel technology is at least 10 years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Right. Why don't you aim those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo? Right. RDX nitrogen and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. It's zero day signature. There, hurry. One. For, For my delivery. collection. So you were hired to supply all the targets? Shut it, we're all on need to know. So, Zero Day pulled together multiple groups to do the bombings. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. Take this down. 
The tone bombing presents us with an excellent opportunity. Once we've taken... Tracing the Spiderbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. Fucking typical. The police were already on someone else's trail for the bombings, but kept stumped. Didn't want to look straight to investigate you, Scotland Yard. Hmm. Privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. As much as I hate the Mets, I'd rather have them around than this lot. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spiderbot will be further in. Kill number seven, here we go. Electrocute this man with a spider bot. Kill number eight, electrocute this man too. Kill number nine is coming soon. And electrocute this man too. As simple as that. Kill number ten, but I kill my spider bot. Amazing job. We save this person because recruit. There we go. I think you yeah, just boys. made a new friend. We are getting another if Albion wanted to lock them up, they so must be dangerous. We have and dangerous we can use. Yep. According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of Spiderbot from the Tone bombing site. Can you identify the, the Spiderbot from out of that room? I'll need to direct learn it. That's a part of the remote death system death. from Parliament. And if the Mets or Albion brother actually like analyze handiwork right at all. So that opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get me. comfy. This Spiderbot might be broken like and missing some of his legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. Buggery fuck, would you look at all this junk? You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next vent opening. You're almost there. Make your way through this last vent path. Okay, we got the damn spider bot. Let's try to get out of here without being detected by the cop. Accessing its quantum analyzing this and data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to, to you your new and getting beaten up by cops. So this is a nice station. Okay. This man needs to get needed right, by my absolute fighting skills. And there's another man. Wow, let's nene him too. Hope he hope he can't fight. Oh no, I think he knows how to fight. Oh no, he does know how to fight. But my nene skills are absolutely awesome. His stand is no power. No, his stand doesn't match my stand power. This is just a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushes its location to a specific ground station. We have to discover this. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. Uh, we've got a secret cop shop down here. Fuck knows why. Seems our mystery officer was dedicated. What were they working on that led to the bombing at home? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry, but I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. 
Whatever credibility Albion ever had is right fucking out. How could they be working with Clan Kelly? It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread and it leads back to them. Back Clan away. Kelly and Albion included. Lots of oh, people well, are being taken off the streets. The we need to get to the bottom of this. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion in front of their part of the operation. Guess what? No hostages for you, guys. Like us, Let's rescue all of them and I have to escape the cops, cops quickly Maybe from here. Because otherwise I might get killed, which is not really a good idea. This if we have done that, this current mission, let's stop this car. Take it away and now, Caitlin Lau's right, then so he's guys, still be alive, this but video, listen, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, guys. Angel See you in the next video. Thought, but I won't See hold ya!